Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be going over 10 monster taming games that are either available for Android or iOS right now or are coming in the near future. We did make a similar video roughly eight months ago which covered seven monster taming games for mobile and some information has changed since then but feel free to check out the first one as there will be some games in this video that were not covered there and vice versa. So definitely when you're done here, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. That said, let's dive right in. The Nexomon franchise is undoubtedly a fan favorite of you guys watching, and that's for good reason. The original Nexomon is still available for Android and iOS and features a fun and exciting storyline, various interesting and quirky characters to interact with, over 300 Nexomon to catch and utilize in battle, and more. If you've already beaten Nexomon and are looking to scratch that itch again, Nexomon Extinction is in fact being developed for mobile devices, however an exact release date has not been confirmed as of right now. We did receive a teaser trailer for the upcoming update to the game, which supposedly will coincide with that mobile release, so there's definitely that. I can't express how much I really enjoy Nexomon and the franchise as a whole, so I highly recommend checking it out. Next up on this list is Monster Hunter Stories, the first installment of the Monster Hunter Stories franchise. A lot of you with either a PC or a Nintendo Switch may be playing the sequel right now. That said, Monster Hunter Stories, much like the sequel, features a plot-driven narrative, dozens of monsters to hatch and utilize within battle, a lot of gimmicky dialogue, and overall, a very impressive example through and through for a game of its time. This title was originally a 3DS game and honestly ran pretty well despite the 3DS's limitations. I will say it is quite expensive for a mobile game with it being around $27 Canadian, however this gives you a full monster taming experience without any aggressive microtransactions or monetization strategies. If you're looking for a game that'll throw you into battle right away, Monster Masters might be up your alley. The game features a semi-real-time combat system in which you must load up your various attacks in real time in order to execute them. The game allows you to fight players around the world, and in doing such, you'll be able to earn various loot and increase the level of your monsters and expand your team. I actually really like the monster designs in this game so far, and actually I hadn't heard of this game until you guys mentioned it in the comments of my video, so definitely if there are any games you want me to add to this list that I did not cover in either this video or the one that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, definitely let me know in the comments. This one is a free to play game, so expect there to be microtransactions and stuff to that effect. Evil Crow and Evil Crow 2 are two games that we also covered in the previous installment of this video, however we have received some more information as to when the sequel is going to be launching. So it previously was spring 2021, however it has been delayed until further notice. That said, the devs did decide to add one of the DLC packs into the launch, so that means more content when it does come out. For those that don't know, the game is a full-on adventure RPG with various Creos to collect and tame and an evil team to thwart. Should be right up your alley if you're a fan of the Nexomon games. Want something a little bit different that pushes the boundaries of what we consider a monster taming title? Well, if so, Xenoscape might be what you're looking for. Unlike other monster taming titles on this list, Xenoscape isn't an RPG, but instead a bullet hell which allows you to tame various creatures with some various abilities in real-time combat. I have played the early demo of this game, and I've got to say it is quite challenging with an insane amount of projectiles being launched your way at all times. So if you want to get your heart racing whilst playing a monster taming game and getting wrecked, this game might be your thing. We currently don't have a set release date, however the dev is very active on Twitter, so definitely feel free to check them out, I'll leave it linked in the description. One title that I'm super excited for is Sky Climbers, a game that will be launching on every major platform, including mobile. As you can see by the footage, Sky Climbers is definitely one of, if not the most visually appealing game on the list, and the heights of this game don't stop there. This game functions as an open sandbox, allowing the player to truly choose what they want to spend their time doing. If you're a fan of monster taming specifically, you can go around and be a rogue monster tamer that's sort of nomadic. Perhaps you enjoy city building and commanding large armies, it has that as well. It's even going to have an RTS mode, which is a definite throwback to a genre that I haven't really seen much from in a while. I was never a big fan of RTS games, but I remember them being a lot more popular. A lot of people have stated that this is like if you were to take real-time combat monster taming and mix it together with Minecraft and I can definitely see the comparison that's being drawn here. It'll be a little while until the game is released in 2021, 
2022. However, there is an alpha that will be launching later this year. However, I'm not entirely sure if the alpha will be PC exclusive or if it'll also include mobile in that. But if you want some more information about the game and want to follow the project as it progresses, their Twitter will be linked in the description. Necromancer's Gift is a monster taming roguelite that features some of the most visually appealing pixel art to fans of more darker, more alien looking kind of monsters, me included. There's something about the odd art style coupled with these very strange creature designs that really gravitate me towards this game. Even the entire premise of this game is strange, with you basically being some old dude who's walking his dog one day and then your dog runs into the necromancer's lair and you travel down there in order to find it. The game will feature one-on-one -on -one turn based battles, the aforementioned roguelite aspects which include various randomly generated branching paths and of course permadeath, and a really interesting mechanic being dueled held items which allow you to stack interesting bonuses on your monsters. The game was originally going to be a PC exclusive, however it did get enough funding during its Kickstarter campaign to allow for a mobile port that will be free of microtransactions and act as a full game. Definitely excited for this one. Probably one of the most anticipated game launches in recent monster taming history is Coromon, a story-driven monster taming RPG that's in the same vein as a game like Evo Crow or Nexomon. This game was also featured in our upcoming Nintendo Switch games video that came out a few days ago, so definitely check that out if you're done here if you're looking for Switch games. Anyway, this game's a no-brainer when it comes to games to look forward to. The game features a story-driven campaign, as mentioned previously, over 120 monsters collect and tame, however the devs have stated that there will be more, player versus player online battles, and a ton more. I did an entire video going over the game's shiny mechanic, which I think is one of the best, if not the best, in monster taming in general, so if you have the chance to check that out as well, I do highly recommend you do, because it's a very interesting and downright fascinating way in which the shiny mechanics work in this game, making the shinies categorically more powerful than the standard form. The game has been pushed back quite a few times, however, the developers have now secured a publisher, and I think we can safely say that quarter one 2022 is going to be the launch, and honestly, if we're going to get an exact date by this October, October, I'm going to try to book time off my day job so I can focus on content creation for the game. I really do think this will be a major milestone for the genre. Okay, so technically, while not exclusive to mobile gaming, Familiars.io is actually a browser-based game that does work on your phone. I was debating whether or not to include this game because, I mean, technically you don't download it in the Play Store or anything like that, but it works on your phone and people have been looking forward to games to play on their phones, so why not this one? This game is a very simplistic MMO that sort of pits you in a world where you can battle and catch various familiars and then battle other players as well. The game's designed in such a way that it doesn't feature any sort of story and just sort of exists in an open plane for you to explore and that gives its own charm as well. The simplistic art style as well featuring very basic colorings is also something that I quite like. The game was actually condensed into a tweet so if you go to the developer's Twitter page you can actually check out their pinned tweet to play the game. It's kind of funny if you ask me. It's also completely free by the way. The last game on this list is a very new one that is early in development and it's called Tamer's Dawn a 3D monster taming game with turn-based combat for both mobile platforms. I can't stress enough how early in development this game is, we don't have a whole lot of information on it, but what we do know is that the spells and various items can be easily swapped for your monsters to make them more customizable. Despite being in a very early stage, I gotta say the game does look really well. I like how the overworld layout looks and even the monster models are pretty sharp for an early title. We don't have any information regarding release date which is to be expected, so stay tuned. Yeah guys, those are 10 monster taming games for Android and iOS. There are a lot of interesting projects in the work and despite me not personally being an avid mobile gamer myself, I'm glad that these games are being made more accessible for the wider public. If you do enjoy videos like these, definitely let me know in the comment section below. There are a ton of different types of videos in this vein that I could do. We could do monster taming roguelikes that are upcoming, uh, monster taming games with farming, uh, any other sort of system. I was thinking maybe doing something for the Steam Deck because a lot of people don't have access to a gaming PC, but with the Steam Deck, they might be able to start playing some of these games. So I could see like an upcoming PC game monster taming video as well. But anyways, it's always up to you. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out my subscriber Discord and Patreon. All links will be in the description. See you guys next time. Peace.